Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Saudi Pro League. What might we see today, Stuart? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And the contest begins. Excellent defending. Well, as you can see, when it comes to the hosts, they certainly know a thing or two about scoring goals. In fact, Stuart, they have the most potent attack in the league. Well, the movement of the front players is key. They're always threatening the space behind the opposition, and when the ball does go wide, they work so hard to find that bit of room away from their markers. They've been brilliant, and these fans have been treated to some great football. Useful-looking position, you've got to say but really sticking to the task defensively. Determined defending. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. And a poor ball. And threading it forward, and he's in, there is the goal, and you could almost see that coming, they were sitting ever deeper, and now they've really paid the price. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish, he really hits it with power and accuracy, nothing the keeper can do about that. So, underway again here, 1-0 the score. Bruno Duarte. Really getting stuck in. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. But he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really. And so it's a free kick. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, they might be trailing, but hope in the form of a corner.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Going to struggle to get it away properly. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. A danger here as he runs at them. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And a long way out here. And the keeper more than equal to it. Corner kick played in. Struggling to get it away. Bahebri. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Guanca Fahebri Carlos Atan Bahebri At times they make passing look easy Eva Banega Now Krikoviak Chance to cross. Well, not the best clearance. Oh, a vital interception. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Plenty of support here. And a no nonsense clearance. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Could play it in. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Ever Banega. And he takes on the shot. And the keeper getting across to stop it. And deciding to go short with this one. Ever Banega. Big chance. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. And he has options available. And crossed in there. In position, but pressure to cope with. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Yeah. 
Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Guanca went in strongly, decisively. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And there it is! Two goals in a matter of minutes! Incredible stuff! Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Al Mualad. Now Krikoviak. And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really... Surely! And it goes to square the game! What a contest! Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So, underway again at 2 all. an astute piece of defending good tackle it'll be a throw well they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game Al Mualad going well must take the lead here. Can they cover up? Not a time for composure on the ball. Well, what a big moment that could prove to be. The keeper's just kept the minute. What a save. And the substitution will occur now. It is to be a throw-in. Muteb Al-Harbi. And played the pass well. Five minutes to go. Bruno Duarte. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well to be a winner. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. A really sumptuous ball. Now the attack fizzled out. Not taking into account all the stoppages. Three minutes to be added on. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, visionary passing. And the referee blows the whistle, still all square at the end of 90 minutes.